Hi, first grade. Today we're going to talk a little bit about where in Emmaus you might find a pond, a frog, a toad, an amphibian. We're going to do that by looking at a map today. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to look at this map of Emmaus. So at first it might look a little bit confusing. There's a lot going on here, but we're going to walk through it. If you can see my mouse, you can see that this says Seven Generations Charter School over here. This actually marks the ES building. If you hover the mouse, you can see that. And then if you go down the street over here, across the street a little ways is the IS building. We're gonna look at a satellite view instead. That might help a little bit. So here we have the IS building here. I mean the ES building here. And then as you go down the street over here, you'll see that you have the longer, let's zoom in a little bit. Here's the intermediate school building over here. And that goes all the way down to that corner over there. Over here, we have the 1803 house, which you've probably driven by or walked by many, many times. Here's the intermediate school building. Now, when first grade goes on hikes to the pond, they follow Minor Street all the way down here. And then they go over this way. They go past here, over here. They go past the Emmaus Compost Center. And then they get to the Emmaus Community Garden over here, which if you didn't know, is a really cool place where um, people that might not have room in their yards for a garden get to share a garden space together. So maybe I live in an apartment and I don't have a place for a garden, but I'd really like to have a garden. I could buy a square at the Emmaus Community Garden and I could put my garden there. Okay, so here is the Emmaus Community Garden and across from that, is the pond over here. And this is the pond where first grade does most of their observations. So it's kind of cool to look at it this way. It is actually pretty close to the train tracks and to the main road. But when you're standing over here at the pond and at the Emmaus Community Garden, you would honestly have no idea that there's a busy street over here. You can't hear it, you can't see it. These are some really tall trees over here that surround it. You really can't see any of it. Um, you just really feel like you're kind of at this little quiet place where they have this pond. So that is what the pond looks like that first grade hikes to a lot. Um, this is actually the hikeathon field over here. Just to give you a little point of reference, you can go hiking when you run your laps around the hikeathon field over here. Um, and then the pond is over here. Now, let's zoom back out a minute. And we're going to look at the map view again. Do we see any other bodies of water? maybe small ponds in Emmaus, where maybe we would also be able to find some amphibians, some frogs, some toads. What do you guys think? I'm noticing that there's this little one over here. If I click on that, there's another little pond over here. This is just right at the end of someone's road. Um, and then you can see a little pond there. And you can see here, if we zoom in, that looks like a pretty healthy pond. It has some different kinds of plants and different things around the side. And it looks like a pretty healthy pond. Okay, we're gonna zoom back out. I also see another little body of water over here. So this one is a little bit harder to see. Probably so small you can't see it from the satellite version, but it looks like there's another little body of water over there. Also noticing that there's a little body of water over here. So this is in Upper Milford, and this is another example of a place where there's a little body of water, where there could be a pond, where there could be some frogs. If you look here at the bigger version of the map, there's these little blue dots randomly around, right? This long one's not a pond, right? That's some kind of stream or creek because it's long and it's moving. You can see just by the shape of it that it's long and it's moving. But then we have some other smaller bodies of water that could be little ponds. If we look over here, this is the South Mountain Trail, and there's a little um, blue dot over here, which could mean that there's a little pond over here too. So there's lots of different spots. I also wanna look really quick. Okay, so here's Emmaus. If we look at Emmaus, okay, and that's the town that Seven Gen is in. Over here, we have a lot of gray, right? That means paved areas, paved roads. There is some green, right? There are some groups of trees. There are some parks. People have some trees in their backyards. 
okay? But this is a really busy street, okay? This is a big group of gray right here. And over here, you see all these little lines over here. All of those are all the different streets that are paved. But then over here, look at this big, huge group of trees. Isn't that so cool that we have Wildlands Conservancy that's preserving all that land and saying, no, no, you can't build anything there, right? Um, they're, they're preserving all that. So if we zoom out even further to get a bigger picture view, you can really see how dense all this greenery is right here. And these are all places where you can go hiking and exploring. Um, and then you can see over here that there's a lot of buildings and that's okay too. Those are the social systems that we need to survive, right? We definitely need those social systems. But it is nice to know that there are also so many natural systems. And if you look over here, there's a lot of hiking trails. Wildlands Conservancy has done a lot of work to make sure that those are safe and preserved and to make sure that there's no building happening over there. So we just wanted to really look at this map to get a sense of where are we in Emmaus at 7 Gen, right? Here we have another South Mountain Conservancy. Where are we in Emmaus? What are we nearby? We're near a lot of town and we're near the city of Allentown and we're near downtown Allentown, but we're also in the midst of all this greenery and all this conserved and preserved land, which is pretty cool. So that was a look at the first grade pond that they visit. If you're ever around 7 Gen and you and your family would like to go visit that pond, you absolutely can. There's so many other ponds in Emmaus too. One of my favorites to visit is at the Robert Rodale Park behind the Rodale Daycare in Emmaus. That's another great one. And then there's another one with a stream over across the street from Rodale Daycare that has a lot of great stuff in it too. So that is where are we in Emmaus and where might we find ponds, frogs, and toads? I hope you enjoyed it. You can go answer some questions now. Have a great day.